You also once worked in a job that I find <laughs> so fascinating, and I am like, it's the unsung hero of the entertainment world, a magician's assistant. Wow. <laughs> that to me is like... What, yeah, what are the duties of the assistant? So, well, first of all, no one can ever see you um, because <laughs> normally, you know, you're you're pretending to be some sort of body part that's going to get sawed off. Right. And that was essentially my job was just to sort of cram myself in a very small space. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me they're not actually sawing the body oh, parts off? Don't ruin it. <laughs> I, I ruined it. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, and I thought, well, this would be a good story one day for a talk show. And I, <laughs> I, I got, I, I went, yeah, sure. And I toured around with the magician for a bit and would get my, my head taken off. During, oh, wow. during the act. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that was my fun did you little ever side get to project. Do, like, did you ever get to do the flourish? Like the... I didn't, know. I didn't oh. get to do any like fun. I didn't get to be the eye candy that distracts from the <laughs> <slight> hand. <laughs> or, I didn't get to do that, no. Did you ever see any of the big shows, the big magic shows in Vegas? I did. I actually saw David Copperfield and I... I did caught you make the... a plane disappear? What was it? A car. A car. Oh, I... <laughs> oh no, I'm... See, I told you I was a nerd. Um, <laughs> I, I caught the Frisbee that he threw into the audience and got oh, on uh, the stage. That's so amazing. I was I was standing right there when this car appeared out of nowhere on like four pillars and my mind was absolutely blown. Blown by so. that.